For the introduction, hello, my name is Tatiana Pavlyuk. I work for Exactron, managing non-functional testing for market surveillance systems. Hello again, I am Alicia Fitkin. Testing tools diversity. We are uncovering better ways of testing software by doing it and helping others do it. Our focus is deliberate practice of software testing for market infrastructures. And we do whatever it takes to help our clients operate better and more scalable platforms. Any large financial organization these days is under heavy cost pressure and therefore looks for ways to identify efficiencies in every area. Quality assurance is not an exception. Test automation tools help to increase coverage and improve regression testing. Is it possible to achieve more cost savings through unification and homogenization of the software testing tools? Imagine it. One company, one team, one tool. Sounds right. When the only tool that you have is a hammer, all of problems like uh, looks like a bag of nails. Yet we face a wider variety of problems within our domain. Diverse perspectives reveal more. Say, from most of functional tools, data-driven, keyword-driven tools, they look at the system under test as a spreadsheet. So you send Excel in, you get Excel out, and that's it. Uh, I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. And this very approach is capable of extracting most of the functional defects from trading, clearing, and post-trade systems. Most of load testing tools view the system under test as a network sync. Amazingly enough, this very simple approach can catch a lot of non-functional issues with a very limited hardware footprint allocated for the testing tools. Uh, but there are also defects that hide at the confluence of functional and non-functional testing. Some of them can be located if you look at the system as algo traders do. So different perspectives, different defects. Diverse tools uh, force you to think differently. When you use active testing tools, you think in terms of inputs. When you use passive testing tools, you think in terms of outputs. Various approaches, various issues. So the idea of using different tools for different testing types seems clear, but we should not stop here. Software testing is relentless learning and you do not limit yourself to a single instrument if your task is to explore the universe. So do not be afraid to use multiple tools for a single test type. Uh, software testing uh, focuses on failure. Leo Tolstoy said, happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. That's the essence of it. It is possible to have an ideal production system, but it is not possible to have an ideal testing tool. In software testing, we do not need one happy way. We need many unhappy ways even when we talk about the same testing type. So, duplicated, corrupted, distorted, mutated software testing tools at the micro scale, they might seem uh, inefficient and unstable, but join them together and they produce a heterogeneous anti-fragile test harness, something that becomes stronger from external harm. An anti-fragile test harness is a way towards macro-scale stability of production systems. 
Now let's talk about actual implementation. How can we achieve maximum diversity? Can we do it by turn them into a work of art? Or can we, uh, can we make uh, every instrument a masterpiece and every developer an artist? Uh, that's fun, but hardly suits uh, the magnitude of our operations. We do not build tools just for the sake of building them. Uh, we build software to test software. And to achieve uh, mass customization, you need to have every part in many different versions. So additional effort that you invest into producing diverse small parts of your testing tools, it is what enable you to create anti-fragile heterogeneous test harness. Please talk to us more if you are interested in applying a diverse set of advanced tools to, to reveal the true colors of deliberate practice of software testing. Thank you. There were some brilliant slides over there. Um, any questions over those slides from the audience, please? Uh, so, so I like your way of thinking in terms of, uh, you know, diverse testing needs a diverse set of testing tools. But why did you build your own testing tools? Uh, did you not explore the ones that are in the market? Was there a specific reason why you built software to test software? Well, first of all, if uh, you are taking something from the market, most of the time you are more constrained and you are limited to one uh, version, one option of doing things. If we are building software to test software, we are not restricted in any way, so we can produce any number of diverse tools that we need. So uh, this presentation uh, came out as a reflection after we identified six or seven different load injectors within the same company and start exploring whether they benefit what we do for our clients or whether they are just extra uh, economic costs. Uh, and also what we've discovered is that the work for market infrastructures for financial sector is quite uh, specific. So if we will take particular available open source or commercial tool in most of the in most of the ways we will have to implement additional customizations one after another and at the end we will get uh, a, f a new tool so why would we take something uh, at the beginning and then restrict ourselves having said so uh, exact pro test harnesses they were relying on open source components including uh, quick fix etc Thank you. Any, any further questions? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, and let's have a coffee break now.